A friend of the woman shot and killed by a former Minneapolis police officer hopes for healing now that the trial and her death is over. Mahama Noor shot and killed Justine Ruschek Damon after she called 911 in July of 2017. Our Mary McGuire shares how her legacy of kindness and compassion will live on. I would just say, Justine, we miss you. We miss you and we will never forget you. Nina Robert Salveson met Justine Ruschek Damon at the Lake Harriet Spiritual Community in Minneapolis. And Justine showed up as she was, um, a kind, compassionate, caring human and a consummate professional, and that's who she was. Robert Salveson says the tight-knit community was shocked when they heard of Justine's passing in the summer of 2017. It came up on my news feed on my cell phone, and I had to double take. I had to read the headline again. In the weeks following her death, her friend says it became clear how strong a cornerstone Justine was to those who knew her. After her passing, um, many of us in the community began to realize just how many lives she had touched. You know, just what an impact that she had had. She says Justine was a light, and that will be her legacy. To continue to carry that light in, you know, in good ways to continue to support the growth of community in, you know, in honor of her. Nina hopes Justine's family can start healing now that the trial is over. Events like this seem tragic and senseless, and yet justice is served. In Minneapolis, Mary McGuire, WCCO 4 News. A jury convicted Mohamed Noor of murder and manslaughter on Tuesday. A judge will sentence him on June 7th.